All right, so back to this problem. We know that Sponge Susie is recessive blue from this line right here. Will be, will be blue, a recessive trait like Sponge Susie. So Sponge Susie is little y, little y. That is her genotype. Now we bring the big Y down, little y over, little y down, little y over, big y down, little y over, little y down, little y over. And back to the original question, what are the chances the baby will be blue? Well, looks like there's a 50% chance of being yellow and a 50% chance of being blue. So there will be a 50% chance of having a blue baby. Ooh, baby. Just kidding. All right, number seven. Almost done. SpongeBob's aunt is famous around town for her itty bitty stubby nose. So stubby nose. And if we look on the other side, we remember that stubby nose was recessive in this chart with a little L. So we know this must be little L, little L. She recently met a cute square pants fellow who also has a stubby nose and if he also has a stubby nose we know he must be little l little l because stubby is recessive and it says that right there would it be possible for them to have a child with a regular long nose why or why not so a regular wrong long nose would be dominant so we have to cross a little l, little l, with a little l, little l. So the two parents are both recessive. Obviously, all of the offspring can only be what? That's right, recessive. So all offspring would be little l, little l, which is the genotype for stubby noses. Therefore, there is no, underline new chance for this couple to have a regular long news baby all right last but not least number eight if spongebob's aunt described in number seven so spongebob aunt described in number seven she is little l little l wanted children with long noses what type of fellow would she need to marry in order to have the best chances? So the best chances. So we know she is little l, little l. To have the best chances, we need the most number of capital L or dominant genes as possible. So if we put, we crossed her with the homozygous dominant, all of the offspring would show long noses. 100% would be big L, little L, which equals long noses. Let's just try this other cross for fun. If we didn't know that was the right answer, and we cross the aunt who is homozygous recessive with, let's say, a heterozygous long nose man, we would see, once filling in the Punnett square, that it's actually only a 50% chance of getting capital L, little l, which is long noses. Therefore, the aunt would want to marry a homozygous dominant 
fellow to have the best chances for long nose babies. And that's it. If you have any questions, ask your teacher.